Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, my capture software just totally jibbed out. So unfortunately I've just fucking lost that battle, which... Hey, I suppose something had to go wrong, right? Um, yeah. Uh, basically, I did this the easy way. I took 60 handgun bullets and... Whoa, look at all these clubs. And just shot everybody. Um, sounds like it was a really exciting battle, but it actually wasn't. It was me standing there shooting whilst um, our friend here ran and got in the way of every single bullet she possibly could. And she's actually quite, well, she looks quite badly beaten up now, which uh, it doesn't bode well. We've basically used like half of the bullets we had. Also, I nearly died doing that as well. Um, luckily there was a health drink in the corner. I hope we're nearly at the end of this. Because we're struggling. We're really struggling now. But anyway, welcome back to Silent Hill, everybody. Let's keep moving. Yeah, that was really annoying. I'm having a problem when I record with my stream deck, um, sometimes like the screen just goes black for like 10 seconds and I have to cut that off the beginning of the video. It's unlocked. Please say, oh, we're still not at the end. Come on. Ouch. Don't have the health for this. Really don't have the health for this. Come on. Eileen. How much health? Oh, we've barely got. Oh, I guess we've got these. Could potentially try these out. Oh, no. When, she's, when she says that, she's turning. So. We might not have done a very good job at keeping her safe. Come this way. Come this way. Eileen, why are you attacking him? Why? That's so annoying. Let's stop attacking. Okay. We might end up getting the bad ending here, guys. Alright. She's in a really bad... Bot. Um, now we've got the. Oh, I don't know what to do about her health. Right. Okay. Come on. Hopefully, she was close enough. Oh, we got more. Monkeys. God damn it. Don't have a lot of. Oh, we got flying bastards as well. Okay. I mean, her back's. She's bleeding quite a lot, but she's not. She's not like. I think I've seen her look worse, put it that way. Right. He's dead. So how much... Have oh, we got one bullet left? Which doesn't bode well. Oh, are you kidding? How are you meant to get her through this without getting her to go crazy? I don't know whether to go back and make another save. I don't know. Could get some more bullets, I suppose. Yeah, and drop all these, like, useless items off. Man, like, getting through this... Because we're still not done yet. It's really not easy. 
it would be a lot like the whole mechanic of you not even being able to go off and leave her behind for too long is bullshit enough. Um, right. Yeah, you can see how much like ammo we had left, which ain't much, basically. Might as well take it all. Okay. Really? Can you not combine? <sighs> the inventory system in this game sucks. I guess we don't need that many bullets. We should probably get some health as well. Yeah, we don't have a lot of health either. Oh boy. I hope we're going to find a lot of health like in the next part. Otherwise, we're kind of screwed. Yeah, one of the signs of her being possessed is talking like a child. And that's kind of what she just did then. Because I think um, even if the ghosts are close to her, they damage her just like they do with you. Which is fucking bullshit when you think about it. Um, oh, we're almost out anyway. But yeah, I think that's... Oh, well, at least we cleared this place out earlier. I think that's the worst thing about it because... Um, there's no... There's no clear instructions in the game of how to look after her. And once she starts getting damaged and injured, there's no way to heal her either. Uh, yeah. I mean, this isn't like Silent Hill 2 or Silent Hill 3. This is the type of game that I... My leg hurts. Oh, I bet it... Oh, she's actually not sounding too possessed. So hopefully that's a good thing. Um... Yeah, this isn't a game that I would choose to replay again, because it's just not that good. Like, Silent Hill 2, for instance, I, I could probably play that every every year or so, you know, every X amount of time, because that is a good game. There's loads of different endings, and, like, fighting the enemies and stuff is fun. Um, the bosses are cool, there's weapons to play with, there's nice unlockables. Silent Hill 3 is the same. Silent Hill 1 is really fun. But this one just, I don't know, it's kind of like one of those games that once you've played through it once, you, you don't want, I mean me personally, just don't want to do it again because like keeping her alive is just arduous. But anyway, we're back out. And we are making our way to... The last portion of the game. Yeah, I did look. This is the last portion of the game. What the fuck is this? Uh. Oh. Oh no. What is this? What? What the Jesus is this? Um Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. So one of these is real, I guess, and one of these isn't. Or should I say One of these is real and the rest aren't. Okay, well that's a bloody good thing I took all of my pistol bullets. Like, literally all of them. But that was just literally out of nowhere. I oh, think fuck nuggets for that. But that's... That's like all of our handgun bullets, man. You get such... 
a small amount of handgun bullets in this game. Like, the, you're so reliant on um, using the melee weapons, and that's the annoying thing, because generally, if you're using the melee weapons, you're going to take some damage, okay? But she's going to be with you, because she has to be with you, and she's going to get injured. It's just... Ah... Uh, I mean, escorting Ashley in RE4 was annoying because, again, you're escorting someone and you've got to, like, babysit. But it wasn't as, like, irritating as this. Uh, there's no point in going... Oh, she's saying she's scared, but she's not saying I'm scared. Like a little girl. So actually, to that end, I'm going to go back and save it. Oh. Like, I'm, like, if I can get the good ending, I think that other endings aren't going to be as hard to get, but fuck. Okay. Like, we're injured again. There's only like, ooh, any weird voodoo bullshit going on in this house. It doesn't look like it. There's a scrap of red paper stuck here. Number one, ten heart. Number two, ten. Number three, ten hearts. Number four, ten hearts, sleeve girl. Steve girl. Number five, ten. Number six, ten heart. Number seven, ten hearts, Billy. Ten heart. Ah. So he had. That's why only ten had the hearts removed then, because he only needed ten hearts. So Walter Sullivan. Hang on. Oh, assumption. Walter Sullivan. Is that because we assumed that he was dead? Despair's Joseph. Temptation is Cynthia because she was, you know, being quite slutty, I suppose. Source was Jasper. Watchfulness was Andrew. Chaos was Richard Braintree because he was nuts. Watchfulness, yeah, Andrew watched um, them in the prison. Mother is Eileen Galvin because she looked after him as a kid. Wisdom is Henry Townsend. Source Jasper, I guess. Source, I don't know, August 7th. Okay, it's kind of interesting. So, they're the reasons he picked everybody. Intriguing. I might after this video, because I definitely ain't going to have time to do another one after this. Oh, we've got no bullets, man. Well, we've got revolver bullets, but... Oh. oh. Okay, we still do have some... I thought we literally used it all. Um, we've got, like, no health left either, which... Is probably going to be an issue. But... Not much we can do about that, to be honest. Right. Let's continue. So, I th think this is the last part. In fact, I'm fairly certain it is. Yeah, I did look it up, didn't I? Yeah, this is the last part. I can't remember now. Okay. What are we on, anyway? We're on 15 minutes. Yeah, I've kind of looked up quite a bit of this game now. Again, not the ending, but... Like, how to get the endings and whatnot. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, this is different. Actually feels like we're at... Ah, this was actually a staircase spiral thing going down, it feels. And we've actually made it to the bottom. This must be what hell is like. Yeah, I guess so. There's a diary on the ground. Had that weird dream today. The one where the man with the long hair and coat, he was carrying... Oh, crying and looking for his mother again. I saw that man with the coat ten years ago at this apartment. He was going up the stairs carrying a heavy tool. An old looking bowl and bag that was dripping with blood. I never saw him again after that, but a few days later the neighbours complained that they heard a strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room. 302. So he did something in that room. So I took a look around room 302 and found signs that someone had been in there, but nothing odd other than that. But that's when it all started. I still hear strange noises coming from the window of room 302. Sunderland. Superintendent's diary. Oh, look, that's room 302. We're back here. Look at all the candles. There's an old picture and a red book here. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House and everybody was very nice to him. The baby was happy. His friends told him how to wake up his mother. So the baby went right away to go and wake her up. But the mother wouldn't wake up. No matter what, how he tried, she wouldn't wake up. Because the one that was trying to... The one he was trying to wake up was actually the devil. The baby had been deceived, poor baby. The baby cried and cried and cried when he thought of the mother. He remembered the feeling of being connected to her through the magical cord. Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky. The light was very warm and made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hand, he saw the magical, that the magical cord was just lying there. With the cord clutched in his hands, the baby went happily to sleep. Uh, crimson Tone She who is called the Holy Mother, be not the Holy One wit. The descendant of the Holy Mother is not but the descent of the devil. Those that be called the 21 sacraments, be not sacramental one wit. The 21 sacraments be naught but 21 heresies to give birth to a realm of wickedness within the blessed realm of our Lord, blasphemy in the work of the devil. If thou would stop the descent of the devil, you must bury part of the conjurer's mother's flesh uh, within the conjurer's true body. So that's obviously the... Um, uh, I was going to say spinal cord then, but the umbilical cord. We've got to find his body. Okay. Thou must also pierce the conjurer's flesh with the eight spears of void darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. Do so, and the conjurer's unholy flesh will become that which it once was by the grace of our Lord. Okay, so this god that he's trying to summon is actually... God, are these like holy candles? Well, I mean... We're definitely here. The doors shut tight and won't open at all. I guess we can't, yeah, we can't save it over there. Uh, oh. It's a piece of red paper. I can't break down the wall. August, ah, this is Joseph. Piece of 
piece of red paper. When the bell rings, Eileen equals mother's body, blood. When the bell rings, Eileen, mother's body. When the bell rings. So, yeah, she's mother. Crimson Tone. Bury the part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the true body of the conjurer. Part of the flesh. Super's room. He did his homework, this Joseph guy. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell happened to it? This room. Is it really my room? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy, my head hurts. Creepy. It looks like a face. What the hell am I writing? Hmm. Okay. So... Enter the hole, not yet. I still haven't checked in here. Oh yeah, it's tightly shut. So this, um, oh, I just leave this back out there. So are these holy candles like stopping this place from being corrupted so many of them I guess we're gonna go through here okay because this place doesn't look evil this looks like nice and comfy and like you know holy ground which is curious I guess Eileen's still not with us. It's my scrapbook, yeah. Still, so don't go out water. So we're still here. Uh, okay. So what? What happens if we go back through here? I guess we're going to enter the hole again. Where are we going to come out this time? Did I say yes or no? God damn it. So So we can come back here. But what's here? That's still blocked up. That's still bloody, so there's nothing new in here. I'm guessing there's something we need to find in that room. Unless there's something we need to find in this room. No, there's still nothing in the fridge. Um... A 
That's doing nothing. Anything in here? Apartment keys. Do we need the apartment keys? Uh, I don't know. Right, well, let's go back again. There has to be something we've missed then. But what? Maybe Eileen's got something to tell us. Uh, there's f ah. Oh, the gate to hell. Why must I destroy this wall? Alright, well, I don't think you can destroy the wall, but okay. There's a load of, like, blood here. Something's dripping. Can't go through there. Door shut tight. Can't use this here. Is it, ah, is there anything in this fridge? No, we can't search it anyway. Uh, what about... No, we can't look through there. What are we missing? It's got to be something in here. Anything else there? No. I didn't do nothing. I haven't pushed anything. Oh. It's him. You've done well to make it this far. Let me tell you something about him. Walter Solomon. When he was a little boy, he began to believe that my apartment was actually his birth mother. Okay. He decided to free her from the stains and corruption of world. At the orphanage, he learned of the 21 sacraments, the only way to purify her. He then performed the ceremony of the Holy Assumption and created this twisted world. Now, he's become nothing more than an inhuman killing machine. Well, he's dead now, but he's still trying to complete the 21 sacraments. So he is dead. It's just... His boyhood desire to return to the bosom of his birth has divided him. Now his child self has manifested itself in this world. And soon, he's planning to finish his work, the 21 sacraments. Number 20, the mother reborn, Eileen Galvin. Number 21, the receiver of wisdom, Henry Townsend. Mm-hmm. Us. Even now, it may not be too late. Follow the crimson tone. Stop off. If not, wherever you are, he will catch you. Find him. His true location. It must be nearby. You must kill her. Him. You must kill him. 
Kill. 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 Get it. Kill him. Yes. So why are you upside down? Through the roof. Uh, or the ceiling, I should say. Are we going to gloss over that? or What happened to him? Well, I guess uh, we just had to have a little chat with our buddy. The pickaxe stuck in the wall. Yeah. Pickaxe of hope. Hope is written on the handle. It doesn't look like I can use it as a weapon. Okay. Can't use this here. Uh. Okay, so where do I use this? Pickaxe of hope. Unless we've got to use this in our world on that door. We're out of time and I have to go back to work tomorrow. So that's kind of it for me, but let's see if we can use this. Yes, we can use it there. Oh, oh we're making progress. <sighs> oh. Fuck was that? What was that sound? Anything? Okay, I actually don't know what that sound was. Uh, right, anyway guys, I'm going to save it here. Um, and hopefully tomorrow I will actually finish this game after work. Um, yeah kind of cool pickaxe of hope like i want to go through that door or that hole that we've made should we just have a quick look let's just have a quick look i'm just curious Something stinks, I guess. That's him. That's Henry. Not Henry, um... What the hell? What was Walter doing in here? That's Walter. 
I guess. Walter? His body is tangled up in some kind of pipe. There's something in his coat. Yes. Keys of liberation. Extremely evil looking keys held by the corpse of Walter. Some kind of strange black fluid in the depression. Okay, so he like sacrificed himself? Like in this like hidden utility room. Bowl made from obsidian. This must be the cult's Bible. Looks like a bunch of different medicines. What's in the refrigerator? Bags of blood and things like that. Well, okay then. Alright. I guess we're going back out the way we came. Ah, uh, we've got nasties. Well, that's fine. We can do a little bit of uh, purifying of our own, I suppose. Um, okay, <laughs> I was going to stop, but I'm kind of like hooked now. But yeah, I, I have to stop now. Oh, he's in a slightly different place. Right. Yeah, he's he's done. He's done. Well, I guess we use those use the keys of liberation. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. After all this time. After all this time, the doors are open. The fuck? No way. Yes way. Not here too. In the real world. Are we in the real world? I don't know. Hey. Eileen? Yay, Eileen, can you come inside? I guess she still can't come inside. Right, I'm actually going to save it now properly. Um... So when we come back, we're going to continue and maybe finish the game. I'm not really sure, but hopefully we can actually uh, save her. But I don't know. We're going to have to either way. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.